Good morning. This lesson is for my Integrated One class, but before I get started, I want to say that I hope everybody is doing all right out there. Let's go ahead and talk about our one goal today. This is going to be the third lesson in solving equations by Gaussian elimination. Our goal is to solve systems using Gaussian elimination by multiplying both equations. I wrote out the steps that we need to do to do this. I have, I have the same problem written twice, and you'll see why shortly. Um, but our first step is to pick the x or y to uh, pick x or y to eliminate first. Our second goal is to multiply the top equation by a number with that variable in the bottom equation, and multiply the bottom equation by a number with that variable in the top equation. Seems a little wordy, but you'll see how simple this is to do. Our third step is going to be um, you may have to change all the signs in one equation to get that variable to cancel. And our fourth step is to add the equations together, together, and and continue like before. So I wrote the same equation, the same system of equations twice. In the first set, I'm going to cancel the x. In the second set, I'm going to cancel the y. That doesn't say cancel the e, it says cancel the y. So let's just go ahead and go through the steps and, and solve these things. So since I'm canceling the x, that I, I did step one, I decided to pick the x. Second, multiply the top equation by the number um, with that variable in the bottom equation. So I'm going to multiply everybody in the top equation by 2. Now I'm just going to say this right now. I'm just going to multiply by the positive version. And I'll deal with the signs after we get, uh, after we, uh, we multiply everybody. Now you might pay attention to the signs before, but I just think for simplicity, uh, it's just better to multiply by the positive version of that number. So I'm going to multiply everybody by 3 in the top equation. Because 3 is with the x in the bottom equation. Okay, that's what I was trying to say in the second step. So what I get here now is I get 6x minus 12y equals 12. Now I'm going to multiply everybody in the bottom equation by the number with x in the top equation. So everyone in the top bottom equation is going to get multiplied by 2. And I'm going to rewrite that underneath. 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times 3y is 3y. I didn't learn how to multiply 6y. Let me fix that mistake. Oh, email. Plus 6y. I'll learn how to multiply one day. And 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. My third step. You may have to change all the signs in one equation to get that variable canceled. Remember, I wanted to cancel my x. And as it stands right now, they're not going to cancel. They're going to add. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change all the signs in the top equation. So my plus 6x becomes minus. My minus 12y becomes positive, And my positive 12 becomes negative. So now I add my equations together. And my, my x values are going to cancel. 12y plus 6y, that's 18y. And my, I owe you 12, I owe, I owe you 6, that means I owe you 18. So 18y equals negative 18. I canceled the x. Okay, and now it's just like before. So add equations together and continue like before. I, I added them together and continue like before. Divide out the 18. y equals negative 1. Just like before, I'm going to use the value of y to find my value of x. I like the bottom equation because the numbers are smaller. So I get 3x plus 3. Instead of a y, I'll put a parenthesis, and that equals negative 3. And here goes a negative 1. So I get 3x minus 3 because 3 times negative 1 is minus 3, and that equals negative 3. I'm going to add 3 to both sides. And I get 3x equals, now guess what? Equations are allowed to equal zero. They can equal a positive number, they can equal a negative number, they can equal a neutral number. And I like when equations equal zero. Divide out the three, and x is going to equal, let's think about it like this. If I have nothing to share with three people, that means each person gets nothing. You get nothing in like. I have my x value, I have my y value. I know that my lines will cross at 0, negative 1. I wanted to do 
the problem once by canceling x. I want to do the problem again by canceling y, just so you can see that there's really not a wrong way to do this. Um, I wish that I could have figured out a more eloquent way to word this, but hopefully you see where this 3 came from and where this 2 came from. In the second version of the problem, I'm going to cancel y. Not cancel e, but cancel y. So I'm going to multiply everybody in the top equation by 3 because that's, with, that's who y is with in the bottom equation. And I'm going to multiply everybody in the bottom equation by 4 because that's who is with y in the top equation. So let me do with y what I did with x. And I have my markers right here. I'm all lost and confused, but they're right there. And again, I'm just going to multiply by the positive number. I'm not going to worry about the signs. So you get a 3. You get a 3. And you get a 3. All right. So you are going to become 6x. Let's see if I can multiply. Minus 12y. And that equals 12. All right. So I got the 3 from the bottom equation because that's with who's, who is with y. I'm going to multiply everyone in the bottom equation by 4 because that's who's with the y in the top equation. So everybody here gets a 4. You get a 4. You get a 4. And you get a 4. Now I get 12x plus 12y. And that equals to negative 12. Right, negative, negative 12. Now, my y's will cancel because the signs are opposite. I don't need to do the third step. I don't need to change all the signs of one equation to get a variable cancel. They're already going to do that, and that's why I said you may. Not you have to, you may. All right, so make sure we're paying attention to that. So since I don't need to do step three, I can do step four. I'm going to add my equations together. And 6x plus 12x, that gives me 18x. Minus 12y plus 12y, that cancels. 12 minus 12, that equals 0. I like when equations equal 0 because it's really easy to solve. Divide out the 18. You have nothing to share with 18 people. That means each person gets nothing. You get nothing and like it. I'm going to take this value of x and plug it into either equation. I like the bottom equation because the numbers are small. So I say 3, and I put an empty parenthesis for my x, plus 3y, and that equals minus 3. My 0 goes here. 3 times 0, that's 0. That goes away. That's gone. It's really nice to plug in 0, because the number goes away. Now I'm left with 3y equals negative 3. Divide out the 3 y equals negative 1. I know that my lines cross at 0, negative 1, and they better cross at 0, negative 1, because this, this system of equations is the same as this system of equations. Now, let me end on this, and write this down, please. Some of you guys might have a hard time figuring out, do I just add the equations, do I just change the sign, do I multiply one equation, or do I multiply both? Multiplying both equations always works. This always works. You don't have to figure out anything. You can just go ahead and get started on the problem. The only thing that could go wrong or could give you an issue is you get larger numbers than you need. So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. Again, um, I wanted to show you how the Solve systems by multiplying both. We determine who we want to get rid of. We, we multiply the top equation by the number with that variable in the bottom. We multiply the bottom equation by the number with that variable in the top. We, make, we may have to change the signs of all of the numbers in the equation to get it to cancel. Then we proceed like before. Oh, email. So, again, I hope everybody is doing all right out there. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.